Good morning, everyone. Uh, Aaron here with you, and I've got the whole crew. They're scattered at the moment. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go around today, and we're going to talk about the environment that you have around you. That, that just, It's like a living force of oh, life and food that sustains us. We're also going to tour. We're going to tour everything. You're going to show us Great. all your food, so let's go out. So let's, let's, uh, let's yeah. This is the seasonal conventional garden and one of the things we're totally going to have are beans. Look at that. And we, oh, Look and they this. dropped their seeds. Mmm. Mmm. Taste that. Mmm. Green bean. Delicious. Oh, and what is this? This is um, okra. Okra. This or no, hibiscus. that's not okra. That's um, hibiscus. 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 Yes. Uh, this is Mexican oregano. Look at how gorgeous. Mexican oregano. Yeah. Chinese. Do we have smell vision? <laughs> smell. Mm. Oh, goodness. And now um, this is parsley. Now, is this grows wild, but if you go to Whole Foods, it's like cost a flip and fortune for that. And it's, it's super nutritious. And you can find it on the ground delicious. everywhere out in the, in the wild. Mm -hmm. and, and what is what is this? This is another melon. Um, yeah, oh. it looks like a cucumber. Oh, that's a cute chives. Uh, garlic chives, yes. Garlic chives, and so that's a holy basil. The holy basil. Oh, gosh. Which is we're gonna have some of that mm. in our salad too. It's super mm -hmm. yummy. Oh my gosh! Look at this. All this food. And it hasn't bloomed, but look how big the zook is. And it hasn't even bloomed yet. That is lemongrass. Um, and then this is sugar cane again. So, what, what is can it you cut, Can you cut yeah. off the piece? Yeah, you just peel it. Oh, and just, it's so full of water. Yep. Yeah. The next harvest is going to be a lot better just because we, we found out that you have to chop them down every year so that they get the sugar. The, um, Gets more concentrated. concentrated yeah. Oh. So, for you guys, for those of you that think that I do all of this gardening all by myself, as well as create all of those videos, no, I have, have Edgar and Gil. Big crew. Yeah, because uh, there's just no way that I could do it all. But it's important enough that I make mm. sure that that happens. Wow, that's sweet. Okay, so this is the tilapia pond, and this, these are, um, oh, cattails. Cattails are medicinal and food. What do you have up here, Gil? Uh, red, uh, red spinach. Red spinach. Red spinach. What's and then this is a zola and a duckweed for the quails, the chickens, and the ducks. So you're growing so the highly nutritious. Growing the greens for the birds. And this so. is taro, and this is also edible. And in here is water lettuce and water hyacinth. The hyacinth is edible for humans. I've eaten them. It's not my favorite. They demand it. Yeah, your compost is back there. Mm -hmm. Compost is back there, and we've got some melons growing up here. Yeah, and we also have uh, sweet potatoes in here. This is was the white potato, or the oh. red, purple. The potato bed. Yeah, this is all sweet potatoes. That's all sweet potatoes. So the greens are edible in the salads, and then of course you've got your tubers. And there's a peach tree, looks like it. Nectarine. Or nectarine. Looks and like this it is, and, and this is a white marsh grapefruit. So you can see it's not ready yet, not but oh enough, my gosh. Look at this. Delicious. And we're, you know, we're also looking in, in order to keep the water warm enough, doing a passive solar hot water panel, something that could be mounted on the wall and have water circulate and catch the sun and heat it up and put the heat down into it. Yeah, in the winter, the fish, we need to keep this. This is the only pond that we keep heated, and it has to be to 50 degrees. So the fit, the tilapia, not for the, there's some goldfish in there too, not for that because the they tilapia. can survive anything, but the tilapia. And this is also a big part of my rain catchment. So you can see that it's dripping there. When it rains here, this, the roof is slanted. This is the lowest so part the of the water property. Goes into it. So this is really a big rain catchment. That's why we chose this area for this pond. 
Hey, look at the pretty purple in there. The ducks love to swim in the pond. They don't live in the pond. They just get that as a treat a few times a week. Now those are Cayuga ducks. So they haven't given me any eggs yet, but their eggs are supposed to be black. There's some lemongrass. Uh, there's some rosemary. This is uh, water spinach. It's an oriental vegetable along with some um, sweet potatoes, which it looks like some buggies, right? The spider mites are on there. So we're gonna have to cut that down and get rid of the spider mites. Um, and then it'll grow. That stuff is really hardy. And that's all in aquaponics, so it's all fed from the pond oh, yeah, the and the fish. So it's the water right circulates there. through that. Yes. So the fish the fish poo actually gets in here too. Exactly. That's the whole point of it. So this right? is the this is the nitrogen bank for all the nitrogens created via the fish gets put into these plants to get them to grow. That's exactly. the fertilizer. Exactly. So what I'd like to do, you know, like I said, with your system is to separate in an emergency system where, where, where your grid goes down and you are totally dependent upon what you're producing, okay? To separate it from the house system I agree to the pond 100%, system. Yes. To the pond system to the little pond systems. So, so this system, we're talking roughly the same size system that I did for Brenda. And that was a 3KW system on two, we did it on two poles, but this one would mount on top of the pergola because that's where your spacing is. And her equipment for that system was around 9,000, I think it was, for that system, okay? So we do, do that, then, then we're, we're doing an upgraded battery system for this, and once we get that, this system going, that, that system gets it. And then we have that pond system over there, and with that pond system, based on what we just sized and created for that, we could uh, triple that, one, two, Three. So 30,000? No, 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 no. Not 500. No, yeah, 4,500. Okay. For, for the for three, three different, <laughs> different <laughs> ponds. <laughs> and that's the thing. I mean, if you prioritize, even if you don't have the full budget to you do, can do You everything, take it one step at a time. You can take it one step at a time and the nice thing in about, layers. The nice thing about those three little systems is if you ever have equipment malfunction you got interchangeable parts exactly okay well, i really don't need this one i need this one right now and you let that one go or whatever right so that so we're talking one big system for this honker updating your house system your house system is going to run your 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 appliances and that kind of stuff that your lights and appliances and your ac because in order for you to run the ac for for some period of time at night we're going to have a bigger battery bank right because and here we have to do it because it'll get to be 122 degrees. Yeah. We don't have to do the whole house. No. But at least want yes. my area where I sleep. And yes. even if everybody came in and we all yes. had a big slumber party. Mm -hmm. Just and to then, be and then And then we want to do a couple of micro, even smaller micro systems. You've got some fan here and the right. fan on the chicken coop. And like we were talking about. We want my girls to be comfy. We want, we want, um. A little one, a single hundred watt solar panel and and a single fan, and as long as you have those, they work independently. You don't have to mess with switches or anything. Once you wire them together, it's direct wire, and just put the panel up there every day. The sun comes up, the fan's going to blow. Oh, the girls will like that. And it's all done. So those are fairly inexpensive. So we've already got. I think we're working out. The other issue is this. Those things. The windows. Yes. Yes. Because that's what we really need to look at is, see, here's the thing. You're writing checks that you need to stop writing. Hey, I agree with you so You're much. You're writing checks every day that you don't need to write. 